Hello and welcome to Applied Intelligence Live in Texas. I'm here at uh, Ysun's uh, booth demo with Leslie and Phil from Ysun. And uh, Phil, can I turn to you to tell me a little bit about Ysun? Yeah, certainly. Um, so Ysun Alliance is an industry alliance, not for profit. Um, we've been in existence for about 10 years now. We have around 350 member companies. And the object of the organization is promoting large-scale interoperable wireless communications. So we use uh, mesh technology, um, which makes it very reliable and resilient. Um, and it's good for uh, things like utility industry and smart cities. So we're talking tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of nodes on a single network. And what are you, I know you're focused on smart cities. What are you seeing in terms of how smart cities are developing at the moment? Well, I think, um, so our, our background was utilities, which are incorporated in smart cities. Um, now utility industry is probably moving into a second generation of smart technology and starting to deploy AI on top of wireless mesh networks uh, for things like uh, outage management and um, uh, integration of renewables into the grid. With cities, we're seeing things like uh, street lighting deployments that are used as canopy networks and then you can connect in other devices. So those sorts of uh, applications can bring in, well, in the US, things like gun, gunshot detection, um, where you can use sensors to actually locate where a gun's been fired and even the weapon. So there's a number of applications like that that are coming about. And all of those, all of those are enabled by uh, the use of like wireless mesh technology. Great. And Leslie, I believe you're going to show us your demo, if we can pass over to you and you can uh, take us through it. Well, thank you very much. Happy to do so. My name is uh, Leslie Mulder. Um, I'm the president of one of the member companies of, of Wysun. And uh, over the years, we put together a demonstration, which we're, we're showing here, with the objective of exemplifying the fact that this is a uh, a technology that is open for companies to adopt and put onto their various devices. And here uh, we're showing a sample network that I have running in my facility in Vancouver, Canada, uh, that incorporates devices from seven or eight different companies, all who have certified Wysun uh, implementations that we have running in our labs and forming uh, a network, a Wysun network, and 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 demonstrating not only that Wysun works, Wysun fan, but also that all of these devices can interoperate with each other. So for a utility that wants to uh, adopt this technology, they can be ascertained that they can go to different vendors at any point in time and purchase devices from different vendors to get the kinds of functionality that they want. So they avoid single vendor lock-in. So what we have here is this network. The way we're getting the data is we are, let's see if I can find this. I can't even see the mouse. So what we're doing here is we have the network running in my facilities in Vancouver. We have what are called protocol sniffers sitting in the middle of this network that are capturing the over the air traffic. And we are pumping that traffic through the internet to uh, a device that's a computer that's sitting behind me that is displaying all of the uh, packet capture data here in uh, an application called Wireshark, which is an open source uh, uh, application for dissecting what, the, what these devices are saying to each other. From that, we are generating this mesh network picture. Which is then showing this, this interaction between the, the devices here. Every one, once in a while, you'll see some arrows come up, which indicates some kind of communication between the devices. These things are very dynamic. Uh, if you remove one of these devices, the mesh will reform so that we have uh, resiliency against device failure and things like that, which is an integral part of all mesh networks. Now, this is a very small network. 
Uh, in, in terms of city deployments, these networks can scale up into the tens or, or even the 50,000 device kind of levels so that we can get coverage across an entire city for AMI and, and street lighting applications. Beyond that, we've also layered on uh, some application protocols. Uh, this one here is an application protocol that, is, uh, that stems from Cisco Systems, which is a, a YSUN member. And with this, we can interrogate these devices and uh, represent the data that we're collecting from those devices on a, uh, effectively a web browser application. Uh, so we can see all kinds of, of metrics that are associated with the device. This could be metrics that are associated with the health of the device, or it can be uh, metrics that are associated with sensors and things like that. This is also a way to get, as Phil noted, uh, indications of gunshots or vibration data coming up from the sensors back to uh, a network operating center. This is one representation uh, we have another one as well, uh, which is uh, a different kind of technology than the one from Cisco. Uh, this is uh, effectively an open source implementation of some lightweight M2M objects that we, that we have manifested on some of our devices. And you can see here that what we're pulling down is the, the, some of the communication information that's coming from one of our devices here. So YSUN, although it, it, it only covers the communication protocol, admits very readily uh, higher level application protocols that vendors can layer on in order to integrate their application into, shall we say, the cloud or their own proprietary uh, operating environment. And that concludes the, my demonstration. Back to you, Phil, for concluding. Thank you. So, uh, Leslie described uh, the operation of this demonstration. Um, I think what we're beginning to see within YSAN is the benefit of using open standards based technology uh, with good resilience and reliability and particularly important in the IoT space is cyber security now. Um, and the YSAN network offers enterprise quality cyber security. It's been in use for quite a few years in utility industry um, and has basically proven itself there. Thank you, Phil and Leslie from Wisdom. Thank you so much for joining us and I really hope you enjoy the rest of your day here in Austin. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks.